almost for like five years, mm. morning and evening, uh, almost 27 kilometers going, 27 coming. फिर स्कूल 27 किलोमीटर्स गोइंग एंड 27 कमिंग बैक वाओ टॉप 13 इन इंडिया हु विल बी प्लेइंग द इंटरनेशनल सर्किट व्हाट आर यू नाउ नाउ आई एम 6 इन द वर्ल्ड 6 इन दिस ह्यूज वर्ल्ड या बैडमिंटन इज माय पैशन सो आई नेवर फेल्ट लाइक ओ आई एम मिसिंग आउट समथिंग इन लाइफ बट इन अ वे आई मस्ट से आई एम लकी दैट आई एम ट्रैवलिंग ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया वी हैव एवरीथिंग इट्स जस्ट दैट वी नीड द राइट गाइडेंस एंड इट नीड्स टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द ग्रास रूट लेवल्स तो हमारा ना ये जो शो है मंजिलें और भी शुरू हो चुका है मैं एक ऐसी शख्सियत एक ऐसी पर्सनालिटी के साथ बैठा हूँ जो हिंदुस्तान में आज मुझे लगता है कि मैंने 530 फिल्में करी हैं मैं बड़ा फेमस हूँ बट बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग होंगे शायद मुझे नहीं जानते होंगे मगर आपको जानते होंगे वेलकम टू दिस चैट दैट आई हैव विद पीपल द पर्पज ऑफ दिस चैट इज़ टू शॉर्ट ऑफ यू आर अ रोल मॉडल एंड दैट्स फैंटेस्टिक फॉर एंड देर आर मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ गर्ल्स in 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 our country uh, who are looking for role models and i feel that role heroes are not necessarily people who work in movies heroes are somebody who are achievers in spite of all the odds aisa to ho hi nahi sakta ki odds na ho kisi bhi cheez ko achieve karne ke liye yeah i think yeah firstly sir it's a great pleasure to meet you mm-hmm. and it, it is my privilege because i've seen your movies uh and you are you are fantastic thank you <laughs> so it's my privilege to to be here and uh, i think um, yeah i mean bahut log sochte ki yes you know she is my role model or a lot of people take me as an inspiration but i think one thing is important where everybody should understand and know that i think hard works hard work mm. i mean gets us still here mm. i think that is the only key mm. and kabhi kabhi aisa rehta hai ki few of them might not get success at a very early age few of them might take a lot of time i think in the process mein you have to keep believing in yourself and you have to have that hope ki yes i can do it you shouldn't give up hmm. is my whole point but and you got success at the age of 10 ha manim i was shocked i was talking to your father i asked him when did she start he said her first success happened at the age of 10 is that true yes yes what was up uh, i started off at the age of 8 mm. and i played badminton yes mm. yes uh, played badminton and at the age of 10 i won my first uh, national tournament mm. so we have uh, age groups mm. obviously under 10 13 16 19 so i started winning one by one but how did you start how, how did the interest your father is also a sports person yes. he's also an arjun awardee uh, so uh, my dad and my dad and mom both used to play volleyball Okay. Yeah. So when my dad used to play volleyball, besides there was a badminton court. So I say, हम लोग घर में घर में मेरे friends के साथ में खेलती थी. Hmm. तो एक दिन ऐसे ही मैंने I went to my dad's court. He was playing. So besides there was a badminton court. So मैंने सोचा, okay, let's let's give it a try. Let's see. You hmm. know. And then slowly I started getting interest. And I told my dad that you know I want to play badminton. So hmm. he was very happy, hmm. of course. And ऐसे नहीं था कि no, you have to study. You know, not now, later. Hmm. But uh, they always encouraged me i think uh, i am really lucky because coming from sports background in a way mm-hmm. i think uh, they know what it is and what it takes mm-hmm. to be here so so you know i have two connections with badminton one is that i was in my college team of badminton and i played a match with prakash padukone okay it's a hilarious <laughs> incident i was in my college team and uh, prakash was the karnataka number 1 at that time so in shimla where i come from वहाँ पर ये आ, मैच खेलने आए थे और मेरा जो पहला मैच था वो प्रकाश के साथ था बिकॉज वी वर इन शिमला सो तो पूरा मेरा कॉलेज आई यूज टू डू प्लेज ऑल्सो सो पूरा कॉलेज सपोर्ट के लिए आया था तो साइड एंड सर्विस जब हुआ तो वो जीते आई थिंक ऑब्वियसली तो मैं उनके पास गया कॉर्नर में मैंने कहा मेरा कॉलेज आया हुआ मेरी बड़ी बेजती होगी सो प्लीज Don't sort of just let me win at least one or two games. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, yeah, he's a very nice person. I like him. I, in fact, Deepika is our student." And uh, so, first one love, one and love. Yeah. Two love, three love. Then I, in my mind, thought, "Oh ho! I did this wrong thing. I should have not gone to him and told him to let me win <laughs> because I am winning." So he looked at me. Then he said, "Is okay." So I said, 
come on, play man now. <laughs> and then it was him standing at one place and I was running from on the court from this side to that That's side, that side. So it was 15-3 and 15-1. But I thought I was very happy that next day my name will come uh, in the newspapers, yeah, even yeah. if I have lost. I, you know, small town people, they, they like their names to come on that. The next day the headline was, Prakash Padukon gives a crushing defeat to a local boy. <laughs> That's one side of me. And then after that I know. But my sister-in-law, who I will show you is her picture okay, here, okay. is a Arjuna body and the first uh, Indian woman to win badminton championship in a commonwealth game. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, Kamal Thakar Singh. I will, I told her yesterday that I'm talking to you. So she sent me a picture. Oh, okay. Uh, she, I think when Prakash was getting, so that was, my wife used to play for India. They were doubles partner. Yeah, so they were Kamal, uh, we call her Babu, so that's why I said Karan. Uh, Kamal was um, Arjuna Wadi and national champion okay. in badminton. And uh, this is the picture with you. Okay. Oh, I didn't know then. Yeah, I met her, I remember, yes. Yeah, so she told me, I don't know whether she will remember. I said, why? She will remember, no, no, of course. No, no, I, I remember. Oh, that's lovely. It's yeah. a small world. <laughs> it is. So, so, they, so I have a lot of uh, sweet and sour memories of uh, badminton. Badminton. <laughs> yeah. So, at the age of 10, <laughs> then you, yeah, because it was horrible. Prakash, I still remember his nod. I keep telling him once, whenever I meet him, I say, Prakash, you, why did you do this? Okay, because I got... Cuckoo, I said, now I am going to win. Yeah. It's three love. Means, uh, what is wrong with me? Why did I even go to him? <laughs> and my college was going ballistic. They were uh, yes. clapping and things like that. So, uh, so you decided that, okay, you can play. And then your father was very encouraging. Yeah, yeah. And then you started playing. Yeah, then I started playing. And uh, initially, there were uh, wins and loss. But uh, at some point of time, I think I started winning under thir when I was under 13. I won under 13, under 16 under 19 and um, when I was under this, when I was 16 years old I won the senior national tournament also okay so that is when um, of course we decided that okay let's start playing international circuit because uh, but you had to paper mein aana tha? Lagta tha. Baut achha lagta tha. a lot so you know when I was I have my paper clippings like yeah. even now we my mum and grandmother like mm -hmm. stick them on the in, in the books uh -huh. but I think um, yeah I mean it's it so was that did play a very important yeah, role that did play a very important role yeah. and uh, even now obviously when you see your uh, photo in the paper it's like wow oh, so that's such a refreshing <laughs> thing to say. I love that about people like you who, because I even till today, if I don't get a photograph for one hour on the street or something, I get withdrawal <laughs> symptoms. I said, oh my God, nobody is taking my picture. <laughs> or, so, so it's, it's but important. But yeah, I mean, initially I used to be a bit shy. I mean, mm. you know, when you see your picture on the billboards and stuff, mm. but you know, when I see, I mean, it's kind of a confidence that gives you like, wow, you know, like yeah. really. And people keep sending me that, oh, you know, today we are in this city and we see your poster. Yeah. So it feels really nice. Nice. Right. It feels really nice. So at the age of 16, you won the? Yeah, I won the uh, uh, senior na national tournament. Okay. Senior nationals. And then I started playing international circuit and uh, I how was... Did, how does it happen? Means how do you so decide? So we have a uh, ranking uh, rank point system. Mm. So mm. once we are top in the nationals, mm. we can go and play the international. So the government uh, will support okay. us. Uh. So when we're in the top in the national circuit, we can go, go and play the international circuit. So we have like top 30 in the world uh. or top 30 in India mm. who will be playing the international circuit. What are you now? Now I am six in the world. Six in, in this world. huge world. Yeah. That's such an amazing yeah. and inspiring thing to do. How amazing. Yeah. What uh. a fan fantastic uh, feeling. So, yeah, it keeps changing every Tuesday. A ranking keeps changing every Tuesday. Every single Tuesday? Yes, yes. Oh. So, we have what? to make sure. So, what was your best ranking so far? Uh, in 2017, I was number two. Okay. I was number two in the world. Okay. And Who is number one these days? Uh, Tai Zuing from uh, Chinese China. Taipei. Okay. Yeah, and then there's Yamaguchi from Japan. And but uh, Tai Zuing ko apne hara hai bhi tha na? Ha, I mean it, it goes here and there. Ha, Sometimes they win. But, but you but, have uh, defeated the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. I think oh, in the top thing. ten players in the world. It keeps shuffling. Yeah, in, it's anyone can win any day. Oh. So okay. it just depends on that one particular day who plays well and gives their best. 
So when you were 16 and you were winning, which was fine, but yeah. when you were losing, what was your state of mind? Yeah, of course, when I started playing international circuit, I lost a lot of times in the first round. Mm. So, in fact, like coming to this before that, I would like to say a small example. So when yes. I was really young, yeah. uh, I was playing a tournament and I lost. Mm. And I was insisting them, I was going and crying near the referee saying that I want to play again. Sure. So I didn't know. I mean, I was very young then. Yeah, then yeah. my dad was like, no, you won't get a chance to play. How old were you at this time? Roughly? I was, I think, uh, 10, oh 9, God. 10. Yeah, we okay. had few tournaments here and there. Yeah. So I was insisting him, no, I want to play. Please, I want to play. Make me play again. Mm. I want to <laughs> play again. But at the end of the day, you know, you can't play once you've lost. It's of a course. knockout. So my dad was like, no, 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 it's okay. You know, you work more harder and you come next time and you win. So that was less small memories mm. here and there. When I look back and I'm like, how stupid was I to ask to play a match again? <laughs> no, I think that also shows your character that you want to... Uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean, when I started losing, I used to feel... I mean, even now, I'm, I be very upset at times. Mm. Obviously, it takes a bit of time to come out from that. Mm. But um, now I'm a bit okay. But initially, back then, uh, I used to be like, why did I lose? I'm, I'm working hard. What's happening? What, I, what needs to be done? Mm. How much training, you know, I need to put in to, you know, become a champion, to win that one match. So a lot of things were going in my mind. So obviously, it took some time. But, um, you know, when I used to come back home, uh, my dad used to, uh, my dad and me used to watch the matches again and see what mistakes I'm doing and mm. what needs to be done and accordingly, you know, we used to practice back again with my coach. So, um, what were you missing out on uh, while growing up and playing badminton? Were you missing out on something being a small girl? Being, uh, playing with dolls, I'm, I'm using it as a cliche, yeah. nowadays there are no dolls, you have lots of things but still… Yeah, what, back then yes. Yeah, but what were you missing out on or you did not feel that? I you think, missed? you know, when I used to go to school until 9th, 10th hmm. I couldn't go because you know, I was going for tournaments and stuff like that. But when I used to go to school, obviously I used to play in school, I used to go late. Hmm. Uh, back then my friends used to say, you know, what practice, they didn't know what mm. it was because mm. you know when I was in school nobody thought I would become a mm. you know Olympic medalist and a world champion mm. but um, they were like even my teachers were like why what when mm. but when I started winning mm. they were like oh okay and then mm. they have started encouraging me and supporting me mm. but um, Back then, you know, my friends used to tell me that, why don't you come out, why don't we go out for dinner or, you know, come home for a sleepover. I used to say, no, I had training and I think badminton is my passion. So, I never felt like, oh, I'm missing out something in life. Mm. But in a way, I must say, I'm lucky that I'm traveling all around the world, mm. <laughs> in a yes, way. of course. <laughs> so, I really enjoy traveling and I mm. really like to travel and, and I love this. Mm. So, when I look back and think, I would say, I'm really happy with what I've done and what has been so Did far. Did you have a one particular friend or something which you are still in touch with? School friend or something? Yeah, like? yeah, there are a lot of them. Yeah. I have uh, two, three uh, people who mm. are uh, my friends and they are in Canada and mm. yeah, US in there. But uh, yeah, it's been once in blue moon, I just need them. But mm. otherwise, yeah, it's really hard. I keep traveling and then, but we are in touch on our phones. Mm. So, which is good. Who did you uh, confide in when you didn't have a good day? either in life uh, or, or uh, while playing? Uh, my sister. I'm very Divya. close to her. Yes, Divya. Yeah, Divya she's, is a gynecologist. Yes, Divya is a gynecologist. Yes. So, she's seven years older than me. Yeah. And I'm very close to her. I share my uh, things, everything. I mean, I share with her everything. Apart from that, I would say uh, friends. I have uh, two, three of them, like my school friend. And, What's uh, her name? Uh, his name is Blessin and okay. Shubham okay. and uh, I have one more uh, called Chatur, mm. she's in Canada mm. and um, one of the players, mm. she plays uh, squash, mm. uh, Joshna, Joshna Chinnappa, so mm. she's one and Srija, mm. so these are my go-to persons when I'm like really upset and you know, yeah. And then after 16th when you started playing and what was the next? milestone that you achieved? So, in 2012, mm. I it was a breakthrough moment for me because uh, 
uh, I beat the Olympic champion. So, yeah, her name is Lee Zuri. Mm. So she finished her Olympics and we we were playing a different tournament like China Open. Mm. So I beat her in that tournament. Where was this? This was in 2012 in China. In China. She was a Chinese player. I beat oh. her in China after the Olympics. So, so when in China, over here people go crazy when you play cricket or badminton yeah, yeah, players yeah. or football. The crowd goes haywire. What is the scene when you play in China? Yeah, China, there's really good crowd when we play badminton. But do, but do they root in for their, of course yes, they root for yes. their. Yes, Asian countries there are a lot more. Because now you see China, Korea, uh -huh. Chinese Taipei, Indonesia, Japan. So all the Asian countries there are a lot more. And I think Indonesia is the best crowd uh -huh. I've ever seen. Like the, the stadium is full. We don't get seats uh -huh. for the finals to like, they don't, even the, we can't even hear our coach what he's, what he's saying. Just uh -huh. he's sitting there and we can't hear him. So it's mad, like mm. mad. So it's really nice to play in different countries. Obviously, uh, when we play with Chinese, we don't get that support. <laughs> mm, of course. <laughs> but uh, yeah, after beating. So where do you get the strength from at that time? Suppose when you are playing with a Chinese player, because we back in India, when you defeat a Chinese, it's a very natural feeling. I'm not sort of I mean, people to people are different, uh, but it's a natural feeling that when we yeah, play with Pakistan, yeah, yeah. we sort of feel. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, that was always there that you know we can't break the China wall, you know. Mm. Uh, but I think that's no more. In I would 2012, say. 2012, you I broke started. That ball. Yeah, 2012, say I started winning. Mm. So whenever it was with Chinese, I always had like equal or I had upper hand chances always. Mm. So after beating her, I've decided to myself that you mm. know if she can do it, why can't I? Mm. So that was the thing I've thought for myself, and I was like, hard work to bahut karna padega. Mm. If you want to come to that level, and if she is able to go there, and you beat her, and even you can go there, so tab se I started practicing even more. In this 2020, 12, 2012. Uh, 2012, was your father with you? Yeah, yeah, my father was with me since day one. Oh, wonderful! Like yeah, even now, every single day he will come for my practice session, sit there until my practice sessions are over, mm -hmm. tells me what mistakes. Tell me I'm a little doing. more about your father. <laughs> okay. What's his name? Means I know his name, but yeah. it, he will love to hear it from his yeah. daughter. Yeah, uh, of course he plays volleyball and uh, he's an Arjuna Award in volleyball. Mm -hmm. And 1986, he's an Asian Games bronze medalist. Okay. And interesting thing is, um, I have got bronze in 2014 at the Asian Games. Mm -hmm. So it's like in Korea. So wow. he had 1986 in Korea Wonderful. and yeah, so it was like that connection was... And your mother? My mom used to play volleyball okay. and she plays interna she played international level and then she stopped after, you know, she had a, she had Divya. <laughs> she had, what is the role that your parents have played in your reaching this stage? Uh, I would say they played a very major role. Mm. Because um, initially we used to stay very far from the academy mm. and um, it was really very hard because before I used to play, when I started playing, I used to play near my house which is two kilometers away. Mm. And then when I started improving, when I started winning tournaments, then we shifted, uh, we started going to LB Stadium which is like half an hour, 40 minutes from our house. Mm. And then uske baad sab log ne gachi bauli ko shift hua tha. Fir uske baad Sikindrabad se gachi bauli jana is was very hard. And my dad was like, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Let's try once in a week. Because dono railway employees the. Both of them used to work in railways. Mm. So and my sister used to uh, study in Gandhi Medical College. Okay. So it was really very hard. Everybody was like going to extremes. So we thought, okay, let's see how it is. But I was so stubborn that I was like, no, I want to go every single day. So almost for like five years, mm. morning and evening, uh, almost 27 kilometers going, 27 coming. Fir school, 27 kilometers yes. going and 27 coming. coming. back. Wow. Fir I used to go to school. They, my dad used to drop me in school and then they used to go to office. And then my dad used to come back, pick me from school and then first day evening 27 jana and 27 ana. So we did that for almost like uh, five, six years. Wow. Yeah, and then my mom, uh, they thought, they decided that, you know, for me it was very hectic because we need to oh, rest. How did you go? Car, the mode of the, car mein jate the, and uh, my dad used to come along with me. Hmm. So, and then my parents decided that, you know, for me, you know, rest What is the kind of conversation you used to have with your father when you were traveling for this 27? What are you Bas, uh, he used to tell me, you know, this is what you're doing, you need to do this, you need to do that. I mean, 
I must say, I mean, it would it would be funny, but uh, he watches more matches than me even now. Acha. <laughs> so he's he observes a lot mm. and uh, i mean we are like you know if we get we, if we injure ourselves we are like no nee, daddy i want to play we mm. go in that josh mm. right mm. but he's like no you you cannot you can't do it i'm telling you you can't i mean with experience mm. so i always used to listen to him at times we used to have these fights you don't know anything aap volleyball khelte the aur main badminton aapko pata nahi kuch bhi but at the end of the day i would like to try it mm. you know if you try it if it works it works If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So I used to try, and it used to actually work. <laughs> so I should not complain about it. Yes. <laughs> But uh, all these things. के बारे में stubborn हो आप? Stubborn. Um, I'm not really stubborn. But if I want something, you see, these are the words which are which have a unfortunately negative connotation. I think sometimes it's fantastic to be stubborn. Yeah. कि मुझे ये role ऐसे ही करना है. नहीं मैं चाहता हूँ कि मैं ऐसा ही इसको इंटरप्रेट करूँ और वो स्टबननेस नहीं है वो अपना एक इंट्यूटिव फीलिंग होती है yes. कि इसको गुस्सा तो, आता है आपको आसानी हाँ, से गुस्सा बहुत आता है हाँ, किस yeah, बात पे व्हेन आई लूज अ मैच और व्हेन आई वांट समथिंग एंड इफ आई डोंट अपने आप अपने ऊपर आता होगा ना हाँ मतलब हाँ ऑन माई सेल्फ दूसरे पर मैन आई से समथिंग वन दे डोंट लिजन देन लाइक वाई आर दे नॉट लिजनिंग टू मी so i get angry but yeah i do get angry but uh, it just takes minutes to just just calm down so i'm not very like angry person maybe i might get angry at certain point mm. but after a minute or two i just cool down aap aur divya aapas mein jhagda karte the nahi karte the nahi because i mean it's like a dis- difference, difference yeah she used to like uh, take care of me so well mm. and yeah i mean we never fought like that where is she now she's here only she's in, in india here. in india only <laughs> yeah <laughs> because yeah these are the conversations we have even at home like in general mm. but most of the times with my dad it's more of like about badminton like mm. all the time like now obviously i you know work ye wo talk you're an mba yes i completed my mba and you i believe you're brilliant in studies yeah i was kya kha ke paida kiya aapke maa baap ne aapko padhai mein acche खेल कूद में मतलब कहाँ से कहाँ यू नो आई हैव आई ऑलवेज टेल दिस इन टू माई व्यूअर्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट माय पीटी टीचर स्कार्ड मी फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ वन वाज दैट प्रकाश पाडुकोन्स इंसिडेंट माय आई वाज इन एट्थ और एट्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई थिंक एंड आई वाज रनिंग इन माय स्कूल माय पीटी टीचर सेड स्टॉप इट इवन इफ यू रन अलोन यू विल कम सेकेंड वट <laughs> it's a, it's a good story so sometimes failures becomes your best stories yes, that's true how were your teachers how were your coaches uh, early stages teachers were uh, really kind mm. because initially they didn't know what i was doing they used to say you know why didn't you come why didn't you study but when like, did you study when you were playing games so much and yeah when? i used to come back home training ke baad i used to come back home so i used to study then so mm. luckily I, everything was fine sab kuch theek ja raha tha mm. but uh, when if i have exams i make sure ki i should and i must read and i must pass मतलब इफ आई फेल इट्स लाइक एन एम्बेसमेंट फॉर मी आई कैन नॉट फेल फेल तो आपको भी नहीं नो नो बट आई एम सेइंग यू नो व्हेन यू डोंट स्टडी व्हेन द होल ईयर यू आर प्लेइंग मैचेस एंड सडनली एग्जाम्स आ रहे हैं तो थोड़ा तो यू नो यू हैव टू रीड समथिंग टू राइट यू नो इन द एग्जाम्स तो मुझे यही लगता था कि इफ आई डोंट रीड देन समथिंग इज गोइंग टू हैपन सो आई मेक श्योर कितना भी आई एम टायर्ड आई हैव टू रीड आई मस्ट रीड एंड जस्ट गो एंड फिनिश माय एग्जाम्स सो दिस वाज माय पॉलिसी एवरी टाइम व्हेन एवर आई टू राइट माय एग्जाम्स कितने परसेंट मार्क्स आते थे आपके आई टू गेट 70 प्लस या अंटिल 7th अंटिल 7th आई टू बी लाइक फर्स्ट इन क्लास और सेकंड इन क्लास बट उसके बाद यू नो आई यूज्ड टू कीप ट्रैवलिंग एंड एग्जाम्स रहते थे एंड टूर्नामेंट्स रहते थे तो ऑब्वियसली 70 प्लस इवन आई वाज गोइंग थ्रू योर इंस्टाग्राम दिस जनरली You're a very regular, normal kind of a girl. I saw your dances uh, <laughs> uh, on popular songs. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes feel that this is a shy girl who is dancing. वो थोड़ा खुल के नहीं डांस करती, पर कर सकती है. ऐसी मुझे feeling होती है. Okay. मुझे ऐसी feeling होती है कि जो एक डांस किया है, she's doing it perfect. You have a great grace uh, about uh, your uh, the way you dance, but I feel that you hold back a little. Is that the truth? maybe a bit yeah, yeah. maybe a bit yes <laughs> but yeah i mean um, i think that was always there but um, do you feel that because 
अब आपका एक नाम है आप वर्ल्ड चैम्पियन हो नेशनल चैम्पियन हो कि ये अच्छा नहीं लगेगा अगर मैं फुल तरीके से डांस करूं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है नथिंग लाइक दैट बट मे बी माई योर ओन पर्सनल मे बी इट इज लाइक दैट बट आपने बोला तो देन आई हैव टू मेक श्योर माई डांस रील्स नीड्स टू बी मोर क्योंकि आप बड़ा अच्छा करते हो मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगा कि आप जो करते बिकॉज देर इज एन अमेजिंग अमाउंट ऑफ ग्रेस आपका आपके डांसिंग में है इट्स जस्ट दैट आपको लगता है कि इससे ज्यादा करूंगी तो कुछ होने वाला मैं आपको मैं एक्टिंग का एक आपको बेस्ट तरीका बताता हूँ जो मैं अपने स्टूडेंट्स को बोलता हूँ आयरन एंड एक्टिंग स्कूल कि यू शुड बी रेडी टू मेक ए कम्प्लीट फूल ऑफ योर सेल्फ दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ लर्निंग एनी थिंग स्पेशली इन परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स इसी स्पोर्ट्स में और परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स में डिफरेंस ये है कि इधर डिसिप्लिन है yeah. इधर भी डिसिप्लिन है बहुत जो पढ़े लिखे एक्टर ही जान सकते हैं मगर यू शुड बी एबल टू डू फर्स्ट एवरी थिंग विच विल बी स्टूपेड एंड फ्रॉम दैट यू ब्रिंग इन सो इफ आई वॉज टू गिव यूर टिप अबाउट योर डांसिंग आई विल से गो ऑल आउट गो ऑल आउट बिकॉज आई गोइंग टू मेक यू स्पीक ए डायलॉग ऑल्सो Because I have, I have a feeling that there is an actor somewhere there also. Me? <laughs> Un, no, as an actor, as an I feel that anybody can act. Yeah. And that's the reason I have an acting school. But uh, coming back to what was the major highlight uh, of when you uh, when you won the bronze in Olympics? Is that? The yeah, this was recent one. Twenty sixteen, may I won silver. Silver. Yeah. Yeah. So the major, firstly, where people started thinking that oh, Sindhu was uh-huh. 2013 when I won a bronze at the World Championships. Yeah, I was, that, a, I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, well, bronze at World Championships. World so that Champions. was uh, the first medal, hmm. first Indian woman to win uh, bronze. So, hmm. um, I was so happy, hmm. first woman and first time bronze. एंड तब मुझे ये सब पता नहीं था ठीक है आई एम प्लेइंग आई एम विनिंग बट उसके बाद 2014 में फिर से वर्ल्ड चैम्पियनशिप्स में ब्रॉन्ज आया था तो मैंने सोचा इस बार तो थोड़ा यू नो आई शुड हैव गॉन अ स्टेप अहेड बट आई वाज लाइक कोई नहीं यू नो नेक्स्ट टाइम दिस ऑलवेज अ नेक्स्ट टाइम बट ट्वेंटी ओबियस ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन में नया आया था ट्वेंटी में आई हैड ओलम्पिक सिल्वर so and then 2017 mein uh, world championships mein i was like i i was i crossed the bronze and mm-hmm. i was playing the finals i was like i have to win this fir mujhe silver aaya tha then i was like um, okay maybe you know a step ahead you must be happy because mm-hmm. you wanted to go a step ahead mm-hmm. then i was like no, no, no next time i have to get gold mm-hmm. <laughs> and then fir 2018 mein fir se i came to the finals and i lost उसमें जब आप फाइनल खेलते हो उसमें प्रेशर प्रेशर है प्रेशर बहुत होता है लॉट लॉट ऑफ 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 रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज एक्सपेक्टेशंस आपने जो भी बोला था पहले देर आर लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशंस एंड लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर बिकॉज पीपल्स एक्सपेक्टेशंस आर लॉट मोर क्योंकि कंट्री कंट्री रिप्रेजेंट कर रही हूँ और यू नो जब भी मुझे लास्ट टाइम ब्रॉन्ज मिला था या सिल्वर मिला था तो वो लोग ये सोचते कि अभी सिंधु गोल्ड ही लेके आई Hmm. बस और कुछ नहीं हाँ. हमको गोल्ड ही चाहिए बट आई नो आई मीन वॉट पीपल आर एक्सपेक्टिंग एंड विच इज गुड दे आर सपोर्टिंग मी विद सो मच लव एंड एफेक्शन बट दे ऑल्सो मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू नो कमिंग टू फाइनल ऑल्सो इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टूगेदर एंड सी विनिंग एंड लूजिंग इट्स नॉट इन हैंड्स यू नो ऑन दैट डे कभी कभी ऐसे रहते हैं कि यू वुल बी ब्रिलियंट कभी कभी यू नो यू माइट इट इट माइट नॉट जस्ट बी योर डे तो if you when you lose i i think those expectations make me feel even bad that mm. are i should have won that mm. small thought you know mm. Mm. people expectations are a lot more and there's a lot of pressure right i think when i go onto the court did you cry j- after you lost oh yeah i did yeah. i was so angry and upset with myself that you know i lost did you the- lose because of your own fault or be- because the other person was better i think uh, there are few my mistakes mm. and see when you're playing the finals i'm sure even the other person is good you mm. there's no doubt about it you mm. know the best two people will come and play the finals mm. so i had an opportunity but i missed that chance is what i'm saying and then i was so upset with myself and i was telling my dad i had an opportunity i don't know what to do and i was so angry on mm. myself and annoyed that how can this happen maybe i can't win so many times i came to the finals mm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I worked hard, and in 2019, I finally won. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. How much uh, 
you I have seen your videos with Prime Minister Modi and uh, your episode about ice cream. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this ice cream uh, thing about? Tell us about it. I, um, of course, I really like junk food. <laughs> okay. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you do fitness uh, yes. regime? My policy is I eat whatever I want to. Well, that's fantastic. That's so refreshing yeah, to hear that. Yeah, but I work out accordingly, like so much. Like, okay. yeah. So, so, what is your favorite food? Yeah, I, I really like junk food. Of course, like when it comes to um, uh, food, I would say Chinese, mm -hmm. uh, Italian. Mm. <laughs> and Thai. Mm. <laughs> when it comes to desserts, oh God, I hungry. like. I'm suddenly hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, I would definitely give but you. But these are not pitch. these people will get very upset that you are calling it junk food. Now, junk food is burger. Yeah, yeah, pizza. I'm coming to that only. Okay, so okay. yeah, I like burger, pizzas also. Hmm. And when it comes to dessert, I like cakes and ice cream. So this incident happened because in 2016, I. Uh, was playing the Olympics. I was um, selected for the Olympics, but obviously, 2015 me I was injured, mm. and one uh, time me ऐसा था कि क्या हो रहा है? I mean, will I play or will I not? क्या होने वाला है? I mean, I was losing that hope because mm. मैंने मुझे stress fracture हुआ था 2015 में और um, मैं almost six months I was just had I had a boot. So mm. बहुत मुश्किल था. I was very upset and I didn't know what to do. But I think uh, you know the people around me gave mm. me that confidence that no, you can do it. कुछ नहीं होने वाला है. You can do it. You can play. So I think that was one where I could come up. And uh, of course my I used to sit and play at times mm. when I was uh, injured. Mm. So, you used to sit and play? Yeah, I used to sit and play on the Swiss ball. I used to just sit and play because it was a very big boot tha, uh -huh. and I can't put my weight because it was a stress fracture. It was 10 uh -huh. mm. Ka ye tha. So it was really hard and every two months ko I was doing an MRI but uh, it was not just mm. sticking. I mean, you know, it was taking a lot of time. Mm. So slowly, slowly I recovered hua tha, and uske baad practice karne lagi. So Olympics mein ye hai ki only top 16 in the world will be there. Top 16, 16 mein, two players reh sakte. Hmm. If you are above 16, only one player can go. Okay. So that was a task for me. Because hmm. in 2016, mein, me and Saina were there. Hmm. And uh, I was like 13. Hmm. And if you are out of 16, I wouldn't have been in hmm. at the Olympics. Oh, that's right. So luckily I was in. So to come into that ranking, I had to play 22 tournaments in a year. Hmm. So that was really hard. Injury ke baad, after that, the match, uh, one by one, I started winning. I was like an underdog. Nobody knew Sindhu at that point of time. And mm. when I was going for the Olympics, it was like, okay, Sindhu is going. Mm. But when I got that silver, mm. then people were like... Noticed, huh? Uh, and people were like, you don't know how it was here. Mm. I mean, so before that, that two months before mm. Olympics, my coach was like, no junk, no ice creams, mm. nothing. So, Olympics, jane ke baad, you know, when we had like a, a food area mm. in the village, mm. so there was everything and it was so tempting and there were different flavors of ice cream and so many desserts. Mm. And each and every day I used to look at them and I used to go, I used to look at them and I used to go. <laughs> but when I got the silver medal, my coach was like, you can have how many ever you want. Oh, and uh, my flight was at 9 in the morning mm. and in the morning morning I had like 2-3 ice creams. Wow. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the whole uh, thing that started off with that. And the Prime Minister knew about it. Yeah. And then in 2020, before the Olympics, um, he promised me, obviously all the athletes mm. had a call, video call with him, Zoom call. Were you surprised? Yeah, I was surprised. I mean, I didn't know Prime Minister sir would say that, obviously. And but did not that, but you surprised that the call came in or you knew about it? No, they told that Prime Minister sir wanted to speak to but all the But were you athletes. surprised that why is he wanting to speak to you? Yeah, and I think it was in that way, PM sir was very encouraging and yeah. very supportive. Okay. Not only this time, but I think all the times, whenever we won, we used to go and meet mm. and he used to like congratulate us and support us and I think in sports we've been getting everything. Mm. So in that way he was very supportive all the time. So when the call came in and he was like, Sindhu, um, when you get a medal, you know, we will eat ice cream together and that surprised me obviously. I was like, okay, he told <laughs> that. <laughs> 
फिर उसके बाद मैंने लाने के बाद आई थॉट यू नो इन दिस बिजी स्केड्यूल में ऑब्वियसली हिल फॉरगेट बट ऑब्वियसली वी वी इवेंट इन माय पीएम सर ही गिव एन अपॉइंटमेंट टू ऑल द मेडलिस्ट एंड एवरीवन एंड एंड देन द आइसक्रीम कम्स एंड आई वाज लाइक आई वाज ब्लशिंग और आई वाज लाइक सरप्राइज्ड आई हैड नो लाइक आई कुडंट एक्सप्रेस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट इट वाज वेरी नाइस ऑफ हिम दैट यू नो व्हेन द आइसक्रीम केम आई एक्चुअली एट द आइसक्रीम हाउ मच डज इट हेल्प फॉर व्हेन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ द कंट्री a sort of encourages sports people like that i think it um, it helps a lot yeah. because uh, he came up with a lot of schemes and uh, also supporting in the government support and i think sports minister sir also was very very supportive i think it's really nice kiran to Rijiju. have kiran rijiju back then and now yeah. he is uh, now anurag takur sir anurag, yeah, yeah. Right. so it's kind of really nice because i think that kind of encouragement gives us that confidence to go to another level yes because see when you talk about sponsors not only for us but a lot of youngsters mm. they might suffer a bit you know i'm sure you know to travel abroad it's it's going to take a lot of money mm. so if people who cannot afford and who is still number one in our country mm. and i think for those you know the support from the government and of course pm sir with these schemes and sponsorships and tops and the sports authority of india and they've come together and they've been very very supportive and encouraged a lot of youngsters to go to another level i think that hats off to them because they have recognized and they have come up with a lot of things mm. which has which have helped us and have been helping us mm. because especially for me personally before going to the olympics i was a bit injured mm. and uh, i wanted an equipment mm. it's called game ready equipment mm-hmm. and uh, you know I have told them. I have informed them, and Sports Authority of India and Top Scheme. Mm. Uh, they have immediately said okay, and I think within the next one week, one and a half week, the equipment was with me. Fantastic. Yeah, I think it is very much important for an athlete to have the right equipment at the right time, mm. so that you know they will be completely fit and give their hundred percent and and go and play out there and get medals for the country. So I think that type of support and encouragement was always there. with me personally i would say so i would like to thank them because yeah they've been very supportive throughout and as a person and as a sports person what does the idea of india mean to you uh i would say india means firstly i'm very proud to be an indian and india means a lot because when i talk about athletes when i talk about sports persons not only in badminton but all other sports we have a lot of talent a lot of skill but the only thing is they need to be right people to guide them in a right way mm. if you see there are thousands of people thousands mm. of youngsters in different states in different mm. parts mm. but the only thing is they need the right guidance and from the grassroots level mm. and i'm sure in the next couple of years there'll be a lot of people and lot of athletes lot of sports persons who will get medals for our country mm. if you see it now compared to back then and now we mm. have a lot of olympic medals mm, of course yes uh, uh, i'm uh, sure even and the, I, our performance in the cwg yes games commonwealth was, games was, was fantastic yeah. Yeah. yeah when you see 22 gold yeah when you see in track and field i think they've been fantastic they've mm. been amazing and of course neeraj has done well mm. and a lot of boxers and wrestlers and a lot of them so i think i think hats off because you know when you are representing your country and giving your all out and giving your 100% and getting the right support mm. means a lot and talking about india we have everything it's just that we need the right guidance and it needs to start from the grassroots levels so you are lot of you are doing lot of brands i see you uh, uh, representing brands and things like that i also see you uh, i love one of your ads where you asked everybody that do you feel uh, do you feel this do you feel sad do you feel this and then you said do you feel lonely shut your eyes and, yeah, and everybody i was i was very moved by that ad um do you feel depressed sometimes um at times yeah, yeah. because um you know when you tend to lose at times or um, when you're not able to win mm. then i used to i just think for myself i just go into a shell and think what's happening you know how much i have to you know even work hard i am working hard but you know nothing is working out what needs to be done so i keep questioning myself do you have interest in acting <laughs> um 
Yes, that, that, <laughs> that pause is yes, why not? Why shouldn't you be? So let's do a small uh, exercise. Okay. You're not on test, it's for fun. Okay. okay. I'll give you one dialogue or we, you choose okay, a dialogue. Okay, I'm nervous now. <laughs> no, no, that's, we started with this, the whole interview with nervousness. No, 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 we are not proving anything to anybody. Okay. I am a very good teacher, uh, I'll teach you personally. Okay. yes. The dialogue, we'll choose any dialogue, okay? Say, um, is it okay if it's in Hindi? Yeah, yeah. Hmm? So say, um, it's a, a, a girl telling to her, uh, to her father, ki, main aapse pyaar to karti hun, par main, kaash main aapki izzat bhi karti. The father has disappointed the daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? मैं आपसे प्यार तो करती हूँ मैं आपसे प्यार तो करती हूँ काश काश मैं आपकी इज्जत भी कर सकती कर सकती हाँ ओके सो जस्ट गो थ्रू द लाइन इन योर माइंड मैं आपसे प्यार तो इट्स फनी इट्स अम्यूजिंग जस्ट डू इट फॉर अम्यूजमेंट पार्ट ऑफ इट ओके बिकॉज़ मैं आपसे आई जस्ट गिव अ ट्रायल ओके मैं आपसे प्यार भी करती हूँ मैं प्यार तो करती हूँ मैं आपसे प्यार तो आई डू लव यू बट आई विश आई गुड आई डिड रिस्पेक्ट यू आल्सो मैं आपसे प्यार तो करती हूँ बट काश मैं आपको इज्जत भी आपकी आपकी इज्जत भी कर सकती कर सकती ओके यू नीड टू गिव मी टू मिनट्स फॉर टेक योर टाइम टेक ऑल योर टाइम वी आर देयर इज नो दिस इज नॉट आई विल गिव यू अ मेडल इन एनी केस सो फॉर मी राइट नो यू आर द बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस फॉर ट्राइंग आउट देयर इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल लाइन बाय ओशो बाय आचार्य रजनीश इट सेज इफ यू ट्राई यू रिस्क फेलियर इफ यू डोंट यू एंश्योर इट या मींस इफ आई प्लेड बैडमिंटन विद यू आई विल बी knocked out all over the place so think like that okay. that it is your my moment of badminton main aapse pyar to karti hu aapse pyar to karti hu par kaash main aapki izzat bhi karti ya kar sakti whatever is it karti yeah theek hmm? hai okay so i'll say action and then you will say it it's okay. amusing it's funny <laughs> i know that what's going on in your mind but i have a feeling that you will be a good actress with some training yeah you see we are we are talking about a girl who started at the age of 8 till now so you can't learn acting overnight yeah that's acting true acting has to be taught and learnt so is <laughs> on <laughs> okay 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 just one last just look here look here not look at me because okay. that will make you nervous means not because okay, of okay just a, just a rehearsal okay ha rehearsal ha मैं आपसे प्यार तो करती हूँ बट काश मैं अपनी मैं आप मैं आपके मैं आपकी इज्जत भी कर सकती कर, कर नाउ वी विल प्रिपेयर दिस फॉर यू ओके सो नाउ इमेजिन योर राइट नाउ नॉट इमेजिनिंग पुट योर फादर समवेयर हेयर ही इज सिटिंग देयर ओके एंड ही हैज हैड समथिंग व्हिच इज हर्ट हर्ट यू एक्शन मैं आपको प्यार करती हूँ बट काश मैं आपका इज्जत भी करती वेरी गुड मच बेटर नॉट ब्रिंग इन एलिमेंट ऑफ एंगर इन इट वेरी गुड यू डूइंग अ ब्रिलियंट यू आर डूइंग वेरी वेल ब्रिंग इन एन एलिमेंट ऑफ एंगर इन इट आई नो दिस आई लव दिस आई लव दिस दिस पी वी सिंधु दैट वर्ल्ड चैंपियन इज फीलिंग शाय ऑकवर्ड ओके you want to do, you can do it na it's it's not something which i am forcing no, you no, no, we are no. having fun yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. little <clears throat> anger get angry in shut your eyes get your get angry and action main aapko pyar karti hu but kaash main aapka izzat bhi karti brilliant fantastic now say the same thing in telugu in your language okay okay yeah? and with anger so it's in telugu it's basically like i i do love you oh. but i wish i but i wish i respected you also respected you also so you just tell me the line once just in telugu huh? uh it's like um then man chaala premisthanu kani koncham respect kuda izzat izzat is respect ha respect izzat bhi karti ha once again to uh, in telugu it is um nenu man chaala premisthanu hmm kani koncham respect kuda undalsindi say it in little angry with me only to me only ah okay 
Very good, very good. This was very good because it's a… you think in language, na? Yeah. So, in the becomes… you… you say that whether I'm saying sakta or sakti, just say it a little more mm. angry. I am very respect Very good. Now say it with a little bit of hurt. Okay. Oh, take your time. I am very respect Little more hurt. She is about to cry. Okay. Come on, come on, you are doing it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I promise you that you are going to get some very interesting work and but you promise me that you will only get trained by me. Oh yes, it will be my pleasure. Sir. I'll be your best teacher. Be. Yes, yes. <laughs> but that has been such a pleasure talking to you, Miss Sindhu. You are the pride of the nation. It has been a great learning experience for me to talk to you. No, no, I sir. I think it is my pleasure and it was an absolute... I mean, it was amazing having this conversation with you and um, it was lovely meeting you. And I think, um, yeah, I've seen you, I've seen your movies. You've been fantastic. Thank you. And you telling these words to me, I mean, it, no, it means a lot. It means I, a lot. I am doing this show so that I get to learn because you see, I believe that you have to reinvent yourself time to time. How do you reinvent yourself? Sometimes by talking to people who are achievers, by understanding their point of view because what… lots and lots of people will watch you and will get inspired. You said, not the grassroots people, what will they? So that is what we have done. And, and when the training, when the achievement starts from scratch to where you have reached, then it's a, it's a great feeling. Yes. And uh, now what is going to remain <laughs> with you in the end of this interview when you go back is this dialogue. Yeah, this right. one dialogue is going to be like, okay, yeah. Sindhu, yeah. how did I do? <laughs> you did it very well. You did it very well. We'll do it last one time. Okay. But without shaking your head too much. Okay. Because in Telugu or to you? In Telugu. Okay. Right? I'll do it in Telugu. But you see, we sh you are shaking head because you are trying to convince yourself what you are saying is right. I love you, but I can do it too. Yes, I can do it But straight look into the eyes. If you don't want to look at me, look at here and say, actually feel it. The idea is to feel it. Okay. Okay, without shaking your head too much. Okay, I think it's happening this time. So, tell me one thing. Sorry, hmm. I had a small uh, this thing. I have a lot of respect for you, but I have a respect for you. That means, if you would have given me respect a bit more no. or I no, should have I respect… No, I wish I was respected I wish you. I Anybody know can do the translation? Ante kada, Babu. Ipuray name jab naante me pyar me pyar karti hu but kash apki isat bhi karti hu ante name mein premis thano kani respect gula ibal sindhi ibal sindhi yes Maria to kora Maria the ibal no ab respect bolo respect is fine okay name mein premis thano kani kunchim respect gula ibal sindhi so the daughter is very hurt by something father has done so it don't make it trivial make it Furious, it's real. hurt, yeah. real, without shaking your head too much. Because shaking head means you are trying to convince yourself that what you are saying is right. Huh, okay. Without shaking, just if you are feeling it right, yeah. it will get po projected right. Whenever you are ready, shut yeah. your eyes. Whenever you are ready, uh, just let give me mm. a hint that you are ready. Yeah, yeah, I am ready. You are ready? Yes. Feel this, feel <coughs> sadness, action. Hurt. Nenu mal premis na nu. Kani koncham respect kuda ibal sinde. You did it. You would have been. Very, you would have not been happy if you had gone without it. Fantastic. Uh. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It Thank was you. as always pleasure talking to you once again. So the show is called Manzile Aur Bhi Hai. That means uh, there are much more horizons to conquer, to reach. From here, what are the other manzilin that you want to reach? Firstly, I feel this is only the starting mm. and there are a lot more. Mm. So, for me, 
और भी मंजिले इफ आई से दैट आई वुड से ओलंपिक्स 2024 ट्वेंटी mm. और उसके पहले भी बहुत है बहुत टॉर्नमेंट्स mm. भी है एशियन mm. गेम्स uh, है और वर्ल्ड चैम्पियनशिप्स है mm. तो दीज आर द टॉर्नमेंट्स विच आई वुड वॉन्ट टू विन एंड गो मच फर्दर तो आई होप एंड आफ्टर यू फिनिश यू मे आई होप यू प्ले फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ but a sports person has a yeah, certain shell a certain, certain life time, yes. what will you be doing after this after 1000 years so <laughs> yeah as you said yes sportsman's life is a short span i would say but um, it depends kyunki in your case it that you have proved it wrong aap to 8 saal se shuru hue ha to obviously at a certain period of time i'm sure everybody should retire or um, you know but uh, i am a deputy collector hmm. in andhra government oh yes oh fantastic so you will continue that yes What about opening a sports academy? Yeah, I that? am doing that. Yeah. Uh, Wizak me, I am uh, doing uh, academy come school. Hmm. So hopefully, when that is ready, I hope I inspire a lot of people. Because my aim would be people who are looking at me, inspi- getting inspired by me. I want to tell them that yes, everything you can do, but for that, it takes time and it takes a lot of hard work. So when I'm opening an academy, I would want people to come, play, enjoy. Because at the end of the day, you shouldn't regret anything when you look back. Absolutely. You have to enjoy playing sport. Absolutely. Winning and losing is part of life, mm. part and parcel of life. But you know, giving your best, playing your best, playing your hundred percent matters at the end of the day. Fantastic! Uh. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. It Thank was you. as always pleasure talking to you once again. Hi this is Phoebe Sindhu you're watching me in Anupam Cares YouTube channel please share and subscribe